My name is Dr. Johannes Haile Selassie. I'm curator and head of physical anthropology here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. Today we're going to talk about a publication that's coming out in the Journal of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. We analyzed 152 teeth from various mammals, including early human ancestors from Ethiopia. The specimens that we sampled were collected from the Warren Zobile study area between 2009 and 2011. And the sampling of the teeth was done in summer of 2011. After doing the uh, oxygen and carbon stable isotope analysis, what we found out is that uh, at least the earliest hominins around 3.8 to 3.57 million years ago, they were actually consuming C4 food resources and the reason why that's really important is because previous data showed that early human ancestors started eating more C4 based food resources at about 3.4 million years ago. But now we're finding out that they actually started eating C4 based foods as early as 3.8 million years ago. So it pushes the beginning of C4 uh, food resource consumption by about 400,000 years. Well, plants are divided into two groups based on the photosynthetic pathway they use. There are two pathways. One is called C3 pathway and the other one is C4 pathway. So C3 plants are mostly trees and shrubs, whereas C4 plants are mostly grasses. What we can say in terms of the habitat of these early human ancestors is that there was no specific dominance of forests or grasslands. The habitat has always been mosaic. There were trees, there were open grasslands, open woodlands, and these early human ancestors were able to exploit varied habitats that were available for them. So they were not limiting themselves to a certain uh, food resource. So that's why we think that they were probably generalists who could actually thrive in different than at times the varying habitats. And that's why they were really successful in making it through uh, bad times and good times. What we found out from the results is that these early human ancestors were not actually restricted to C3 plants or C4 plants. All the samples varies from C3 to C4, so it was a mix of food resources that they've been using in the past. Not only did we analyze the hominin teeth, but we also analyzed teeth of other mammals. The monkeys, particularly the baboon, uh, known as Therapithecus oswaldi, started consuming grass long before it actually developed the dental morphology, morphology of teeth that would allow it to eat grass. So technically the C4 plants were opening new niche to be exploited by these animals. And these monkeys, even though they didn't have the necessary teeth to exploit grazing, because the habitat was already there, they were consuming the grasses, even though their teeth were not really ready to make them dedicated grazers. So in which case, you see that the morphology did not precede the behavior, okay? It, it came really later. But in hominins, we see that Australopithecus anamensis had the morphology to consume C4 plants, but it was not consuming C4 plants, but instead it was still eating C3 plants, which means the morphology came first before the behavioral change at 3.8 million years ago. Now we know that behavior does not always precede morphology. Sometimes morphology precedes behavior. And this is something really good to understand when uh, studying uh, evolutionary history of not only ourselves, but also various mammals.